when are you going to stop? When you get caught? <laughs> that was too close, Trish. Hey, Karen, I really have to talk to you. And I really have to get home. When I was in 11th grade, I don't think I was allowed to wear makeup. No matter what I do, it's not good enough. Don't. What is it with you? I don't know. It's just going too fast. It was your idea to come here, not mine. When are you going to grow up? Katie, did you see the look on that girl's face? She's hiding something. Like a chimpanzee. Oh no! for Pete Crawford. That does it. The final score, Porter City Spartans, 68, Lincoln, 67. Cheryl ever give up, she might as well do a strip tease. She's incredible. Karen, what was that all about? What do you mean? You know, you and P. That'll be the day. I don't know which one I like. Just make up your mind. I can't. I like them both. I know what. You gonna buy them both? Oh, it's <laughs> oh, no! I don't have enough money! Why does everything have to cost so much? Don't look at me, I'm broke. Well, I only have enough for these. Karen, just put one back.
Hiya. Hi. Have you ladies met my girlfriend? Bridget, I would like you to meet Karen, Trish, and Becky. <laughs> Hi, Bridge. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. She's really cute. <laughs> uh, how about a ride? Sure, but... Uh, just down the street. Okay. Okay, hold on tight. You know the first time I noticed you? When? At the Willow Bridge game. <laughs> the time I took that flop in front of 6,000 people. I like that flop. Had a lot of style. You know the first time I noticed you? When? The day you walked into the girls' locker room. There was no sign on the door. How was I supposed to know? It was my first day. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you like it here? It's okay. I've been here before. Took a trip cross country last summer. I guess you've been out with a lot of girls. A few. I guess you've been out with a lot of guys. Not that many. I don't believe that. It's true. You mean you were waiting for me? Maybe. I still don't believe you. You're too good looking. So, um, you want to head over to that party? Do you? I don't know. I guess I don't, really. Neither do I. Shoulders down. Your head up, lean back. Karen, watch your balance. Come here. Karen, the energy is good. I like that. But it's sloppy. You've got to practice. I do. Well, then you're not practicing enough. And it's not enough to show your feelings up there. Your movements have got to be defined. Look, next class, show it to me again and work on it. I expect it to be better. Okay. okay, girls, that's it for today. See you all on Thursday and start practicing as soon as you get here. So, did he give you a ring yet? <laughs> Come on, it was only one date. Don't make such a big deal. Oh, oh sure. After all, it was only Pete Crawford. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> He'll probably never ask me out again. What makes you say that? I don't know. He's so beautiful. He could have anybody he wants. Karen, maybe he wants you. Yeah, she's right. Look, you guys, we change the subject. Don't you feel kind of weird wearing that? What do you mean? You know that it's stolen. That's not really stealing. It looked like stealing to me. Well, it's not like stealing from a person. I mean, a store that big, they'll never miss it. Yeah, I, anyway, we spend so much money there. They owe it to us. But it's dishonest. Are you kidding? Come on, Becky. Everybody cheats. Yeah, don't you think your dad ever cheats on his income tax? I don't know. Well, what if you got caught? They never catch anybody. I, even if they did, all they do is give you a lecture or something. Are you sure? I'm positive. guy, isn't he? I guess so. That wasn't the first time you wore makeup, was it? Of course not. I mean, it looked fine. It's just that when I was in 11th grade, I don't think I was allowed to wear makeup. I'm gonna miss the bus. Bye. There you were, Pete Crawford and Godzilla. All that junky makeup of mine is awful. Oh, this is what I need. Mm. I could use some of this, too. Mine. Mm. <laughs> I bet Peter like it. How's this? That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> it's close. It's real close. Give me a break. Hey, this guy looks just like Pete. No, he really does. So, how was it with him last night? Fantastic. Mm, where'd you go? The lake. Mm, I bet he's got a lot of experience, huh? I guess so. Could you ever sleep with him? I think he wants to. What are you gonna do? I don't know. It's your turn to take out the garbage. Okay, in a minute. That's what you said yesterday. I'll do it. Alice. Alice, we're trying to have a conversation. Hey, this is really neat. Where'd you get all this stuff? You're gonna get it dirty. Alice, do you mind? I can see when I'm not wanted. Do you think she'll say anything? I don't know. Come on, don't worry about it. Try this on. Another new blouse, Karen? I don't know how you do it on your allowance. This is Trisha's we traded. Oh. Is that the new thing, wearing all that makeup to school? It's not 
not much. Okay, you're just asking. She has to look nice for Pete. Oh, are you two going steady? Oh, mother. I guess they don't call it that anymore. Oh, uh, by the way, I understand from your sister that Pete rides around on a motorcycle. It's really super. I prefer it if you stay off it. Oh, Daddy, it's perfectly safe. Please, let's not have any broken bones in this family. Listen, Karen, I don't mind you having a good time within reason, but I have a feeling that if you spend less time on makeup and clothing and Pete and a little more time on your schoolwork, your grades would be a little better, don't you think? I passed everything. Barely. You really have to start thinking about college, Karen. Your grades this year will count more than ever. It's not enough just to pass. When schools are so difficult to get into. You don't want to hurt your chances for getting... No matter what I do, it's not good enough! What's that all about? See you tonight. Okay. Doesn't look like you've worked on this at all. I didn't. I see. Karen, let me tell you something. I have a long list of girls who want to get into this class. Now, it really wouldn't be fair of me to keep someone who's not even trying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Want a lift? Well, come on. No, thanks. See that, Bridget? She turned us down. Hey, what's bugging you? Have a nice time with Cheryl. Hey, and you're not gonna lay a jealousy trip on me. Come on, we're not engaged or anything. Okay. If that's how you want it. tired of not liking myself. What does that mean? I just feel like I'm pretending all the time. It's crazy. With Pete. With everything. Oh, you'll probably make up with him. I don't know if I really want to. I really like Pete, but it's not the end of the world. In a way, it's better. It's made me think about what I'm doing. You know where I'm going. And? Well, I haven't really decided anything yet. But I just can't stand being lost in space anymore, you know? I'm going to the mall. Anybody want to come? Not me. I have to be home by four. See you later. Bye. Bye. I think I'll go home, too. Oh, it'll only take a minute. I'm not really in the mood for the mall today. Come on. I don't want to go by myself. Keep me company. Till seven. That's right. You all right? I'm fine. What about your homework? This is my homework.
went to Janet's party, then we jumped out to the lake. And? Well, I'll give you a hint. We didn't go water skiing. Whoa. Karen? Where are you going? Hey, Karen, I really have to talk to you. And I really have to get home. Look, it's important. Come on, don't be that way. How am I supposed to be? Come here. I haven't seen you around cheerleading for a while. Cheerleading's a waste. I was gonna call you. Why didn't you? I don't know, the phones are so stupid. Why does everything have to be so complicated? What do you mean? I mean, it's always the same. I meet someone, I like them a lot, and somehow everything just gets screwed up. Because you meet someone else and like them too? Sometimes. There's no one else around I'd like as much as you. I really don't want to go out with anyone else. But what about Cheryl? No one. I really missed you. Am I picking up the dance? I don't know. I have to think about it. Someone else asking? No. I just can't imagine you dancing. What do you mean? Hey, I'm great. <laughs> hey, Pete. Let's go for a ride on Bridget. We will, later. But I want to now. It's such a nice day. Well, what's the big rush? Because I have to be home for dinner soon. Pete, please. OK. Thanks. OK, the old man will fork it over one more time, but that's it. No more. Thanks, Dad. Boy, you're a real pushover. Look. It's only because I know you want to look nice for this dance. It's the last time, I promise. Karen, I'm not a millionaire. And if you want extra clothing money, you're going to have to think about working for it. Where am I going to find a job? Anywhere, supermarkets, uh, department stores. They're always hiring kids part time. OK, I'll look. When? When basketball season's over. I've got cheerleading. Karen. $30 for a pair of jeans. Designer jeans, there's a big difference. It's not just the jeans, it's the whole clothing thing. Every day the girl's got something new on her back. Where in the world does all this stuff come from? Oh, come on. These kids are trading things all the time. I just don't like it. The, the, the lousy report card, uh, the makeup, the boyfriend, the works. Why don't you have a talk with her? I've tried. But every time I do, she runs away or bursts out crying or tells me I'm butting in. But as I recall, I was quite a handful at 16, too. She'll grow out of it. OK. Do it like I told you. Yeah. 
Uh, excuse me, miss. Could you show me where the corduroys are? Too small, miss. Didn't you take two pair into the dressing room? No, I just had one. They didn't fit. Let's go. Where do you think you're going? Well, you're not going anywhere. Until I see some smiles on those faces. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Spend your 30 bucks. to get your hair in such a mess. Karen, where did you get that sweater? That's cashmere. Ah, uh, Patricia's mother gave it to me. It was too small for her. Oh, I'll have to call Mrs. Marcus and thank her. No, you don't have to. I already thanked her. Will you come on? We're gonna miss the bus. Uh, are you gonna call Mrs. Marcus? Why? You heard what Karen said. She already thanked her. I'm not talking about thanking her. I want to know where that sweater came from. What are you talking about? Kay, did you see the look on that girl's face? She's hiding something. I... I just have this feeling. All right, then you call Mrs. Marcus. We'll, we'll talk about it tonight. Karen, are you uh, listening or are you daydreaming again? Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm daydreaming as usual, sir. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Why don't you guys come over to my house for a change? Oh, let's go somewhere. Yeah, I don't want to sit around. All right, where? The mall? Hmm. And do what? Look for some records or eat something? Maybe lift a few things while you're at it? Play off it, Becky. I won't lay off it. What is it with all the stealing? I don't know. It's a high, a charge. Everything else is so boring. What's the big deal? I, we don't do it that much. Sure. Oh, what do you need all those things for anyway? What's wrong with having a lot of things? Hmm. I'd like lots of things too. What are you going to do, spend the rest of your life stealing? Of course not. Well, when are you going to stop? When you get caught?
to say it was okay. It was the way you were dancing. How was I supposed to dance? You know what I mean. No, I don't. She was practically taking your clothes off. Look, what was I supposed to do? Just leave her there? Yes. Come on, let's go back in. you take your jacket off? When are your parents coming back? In a couple hours. They took Alice to the movies. Oh. Hey, you want to see a picture of a guy that looks just like you? Kidding? He looks like a munchkin. No, he doesn't. He looks terrific. Oh, he doesn't turn me. No, please don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> with you. I don't know. It's just going too fast. Too fast? Yes. Can't you just give me a chance? What's that supposed to mean? Well, can't we just be together? I mean, do we have to sleep with each other? What's wrong with that? I'm just not ready. Oh, man. I don't believe this. I mean, when are you going to grow up? When I'm ready. Why are you trying to make me do something I don't want to do? Listen, it was your idea to leave the dance. You're the one who wanted to come here, not me. All you care about is yourself. You don't care about me, how I feel. Look, this just isn't going to work out.
nothing. Everything. Everything's the matter. I never do anything right. I mean, I'm trying, but I just can't concentrate. And my parents are bugging me all the time. I mean, I love them, but I just don't know. Sometimes I just hate myself. I feel so ugly. What's wrong with me? Karen, everybody feels that way sometimes. Yeah, but I feel that way all the time. It's awful. I get so depressed. And I do these things. It's like everything's out of my control. Maybe you just feel things harder than other people. Sometimes I think it's better to be like that than like me. Dull, super organized Becky. I think this is what's known as adolescence. I just wish we were older and everything was settled. Hey, how are things going with Pete? Pete Crawford. Mr. Macho himself. What a jerk. I thought you liked him. I did. I mean, I do. I don't know what I mean. I'm gonna go look at bracelets. All right, I'll be here. Okay. See the things down in here. This tray we have. There's another one down here. Excuse me, miss. Miss. How much is this? I'll be with you in a minute. Could you just tell me the price? I'm sorry, but you'll just have to wait. But I just want to know, Karen. Karen. I don't want to hang around here anymore. I'll meet you outside, okay? okay? Miss. Miss. I'll be right there. Oh, all right, thank you. Bye. How about you decide on that? Really, have you decided? <laughs> Lovely, you know. strip search you. I want you to take everything off, starting with your scarf and any jewelry that you might be wearing. And I'm going to check your clothes and I'm going to check you. And then you can put everything back on again. I'm going to keep the contents of your purse and your jewelry until you're released.
Mr. and Mrs. Hughes, right this way, please. You suspected Karen was shoplifting, and you didn't do anything about it? Well, I tried to speak But she to always had an explanation. Sergeant, I'm going to write out a check for whatever this whole business amounted to. And we'll have Karen apologize personally to the store. What was the name of that store? I don't think you understand. Your daughter's been arrested. Well, there must be something we can do. I mean, kids do these kinds of things all the time. Mrs. Hughes, your daughter committed a crime. Sergeant, my daughter is not a criminal. She's not a murderer or a bank robber. She was just shoplifting. Just shoplifting. Shoplifting is the biggest monetary crime in this country. Sixteen billion dollars a year. That's real crime. Bank robbery is a drop in the bucket compared to that. She'll have to go through the legal process like everybody else. Judges are getting a lot tougher on shoplifters. Now, even though it's her first offense, it's still possible she'll get a jail sentence. Jail? No matter what, she'll be fined and have a police record. A police record? For how long? For the rest of her life. Sergeant, I don't know if you know what this means. Could ruin her chances for college, a job, or future? Believe me, Mr. Hughes. I hate to see another kid like this with a record, but there's nothing I can do about it. In this state, it's the law. She'll be arraigned tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. At that time, they'll set a date for her trial.